In this video, we review and deploy Azure Managed Grafana. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Raldos. Coming up, we review Azure Managed Grafana and then deploy it from the Azure portal. Before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, and Getting Started with Windows 365 and Intune Management on Udemy.com. The links are below, and thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it. A few years ago, I created content on using Grafana with Log Analytics. Look at that handsome young man. A lot has changed since then, including a new managed Grafana service in Azure. In this video, we revisit Grafana and how to deploy the new managed service. We can use Grafana to create dashboards and alerts, giving us an open, well-documented platform to visualize data. We can also export metrics, logs, and traces. In addition, there are pre-created dashboards we can deploy and leverage right away. Grafana supports a wide range of data sources, including Azure Monitor and other cloud providers, databases, and management platforms. We can run Grafana in Linux and Windows, but we'd have to manage the underlying operating system with those options. With Azure Managed Grafana, we can simply deploy and use the service. We don't need to worry about managing the platform or the underlying OS. We can share Grafana dashboards with people inside and outside the organization. Managed Grafana uses EnterID to control access to the platform and managed identities to access data stores in Azure, like Azure Monitor. There are two versions of managed Grafana in Azure. There's an essential plan in preview with limited functionality and a standard version with all features enabled. Keep in mind that at the time of recording, the essential plan is not free. There's a $6 per user fee. The same applies for standard with an additional per instance fee and a fee for zone redundancy if enabled. Check your local pricing for actual cost. They may be different based on your region. Also, the base version of Grafana is free, but a paid enterprise version is available with some advanced features, including additional data source plugins. Grafana Enterprise is supplied by Grafana Labs, not Microsoft. There are a few purchasing options, so let's recap them quickly. And keep in mind, these are subject to change. Azure Managed Grafana Essential has limited functionality and has a monthly active user fee. This is a good option for testing Grafana. Azure Managed Grafana Standard is the full feature option that has an active user and instance fee, as well as a zone redundancy fee if that's enabled. For both Essential and Standard, we're paying Azure to host the service. Grafana Enterprise is provided by Grafana Labs and enables additional data sources and other premium features. We can enable this on Managed Grafana through the Azure Marketplace. Please review the price for Grafana Enterprise before enabling it. There is a 30-day trial of Grafana Enterprise for anyone who's interested in giving it a try. Coming up, we'll deploy Azure Managed Grafana. If you want to follow along, you'll need the rights to create a resource group and create the Grafana instance, as well as assign the Grafana admin, editor, or viewer role to an account that will access the dashboards. Let's jump into the Azure portal to get started. Here we are in the portal. Let's start by going to Azure Managed Grafana, or just Grafana. And from here, we'll create a managed Grafana instance. Select your subscription and resource group, or you can create a new resource group. Select a region and give it a name. This is part of a URL, so it has to be globally unique. Next is the two pricing plans. Standard is meant for production and has an instance and zone redundancy charge. It also has a charge per user. Essential has a limited feature set with a monthly per user cost. This example will use standard. We'll scroll down. We can also select the Grafana version. This example will be version 10. But do note, if you select Essential, the only option is 9. We'll set it back to Standard, leave it at 10. The region that was selected does not have zone redundancy, so we don't have the option to enable that. And we'll leave Grafana Enterprise unchecked. 
Let's go to advanced. We can enable API keys and a service account in the advanced page. This is used for automatic workloads that require web access. It's a way for automated systems to access the Grafana interface. We'll leave it disabled for now. We can enable it later if needed. When using standard, there's also an option for a deterministic outbound IP address. Some data sources limit access by the IP address the request is coming from. Deterministic outbound IPs won't change the public IP address queries are coming from. Let's go to permissions. Here we can create a system assigned managed identity. The managed identity allows the Grafana instance to access data sources in Azure. Let's leave that on as well as enabling the monitor reader role on the subscription. We can add another Grafana administrator. Include myself is selected by default. If we add, we can select a user that will get the Grafana administrator role. For this example, we'll only use include myself. Let's go to networking. We can enable or disable public access. If we want Grafana to be available over the internet, we'll leave it enabled. If not, we can select disable for public access. If we disable public access, we need to create a private endpoint. This will attach the instance to a subnet on a VNet in your subscription. At that point, it can only be accessed by users on a private network with connectivity to that subnet. We'll leave public access set to enabled and go to tags. Add tags as needed and go to review and create. And once validation is finished, we'll create. It's deploying, let's pause here and give it a few minutes to finish. We'll come back once it's done. It's finished, let's go to the resource. We have an endpoint in the overview section. We can view Grafana by going to that URL. It uses Enter ID authentication, so we can log in with our Enter ID credentials. And there we have it. That's our Azure Managed Grafana instance. Let's go back to the Azure portal. Next, let's configure access. Go to Access Control IAM. From Add, we can add a role assignment or a co-administrator. Let's add a role assignment. Here we have three Grafana roles. The Grafana admin role allows full management, including role assignments. The Grafana editor has read-write access to dashboards in the instance. The Grafana viewer has read-only access to dashboards. Let's select Grafana viewer. We'll go next. Under members, we can select a user group and service principal or managed identity. We can select our member. Go to review and assign. And from there, we can assign the RBAC role to the user. For this example, I'm not going to add it. Let's go back to Grafana in the Azure dashboard. Let's review the managed identity settings next. Go to identity under settings. Here's where we can enable and manage the system assigned managed identity and provide it with an RBAC role. So it can, for example, read an Azure data source. We can select the subscription and then a role. We'll go back to Grafana in the Azure portal. Next, we'll view API keys, service accounts, and deterministic IP. Let's go to configuration. We have the option to change the pricing plan. You can only change it to standard if you're on essential. We can enable and disable the API keys and service accounts as well as enable or disable deterministic outbound IP addresses. Next, let's view public and private access. We can get there from networking. Under public access, we can enable or disable public access. 
If we're using private endpoints, we can select private access. From there, we can add a private endpoint, or we can go to manage private endpoints. From here, we can add and manage a managed private endpoint. If you're planning to use a Grafana Enterprise, we can enable it by going to Grafana Enterprise. From here, we can enable Grafana Enterprise. Grafana Enterprise will not be enabled for this example, and please review the pricing details before you enable it. A 30-day free trial is available if you want to review the feature first. That is how to deploy Azure Manage Grafana and manage some of the Azure configuration settings available for the service. I hope this helps you better understand what Azure Manage Grafana is and how to deploy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.